What's up, TW fans? Jake here, bringing you this week's episode of What's New at Tackle Warehouse. We got a bunch of gear for you here today. Kicking off the new year, um, if you're, you're stuck up north somewhere dealing with some of those cold temps, hopefully everything's going all right. Uh, you know, if you're, you're sitting at home, you're bored, you're, your lake's frozen over, looking to restock, now's the time to restock that tackle box to get ready for that spring fishing season. All right, let's check out some new rods from Lou's. We've got some really cool rods from Lou's. This first one here is their new flagship model casting and spinning rod series. This is the new Elite Series uh, casting and spinning rod from Lou's. This was a really, really cool rod, and we really couldn't appreciate it until we got this thing out of the package and actually checked it out. Um, just, you know, from seeing images of it, once you get this thing in, the hand, in your hand, you can really appreciate how cool this rod is. So, on this rod, it's got their LFS X5 blank, which is their highest, highest modulus uh, carbon graphite blank material, so it's crazy light, and it's super, super sensitive. It's got their focus technology on there, so the tip is reinforced on there. That is a concern when you, you kind of get in those higher modulus, more expensive graphite blanks. Uh, they can be a little bit more brittle, but Lou's is taking care of that. They're reinforced, really strong rods. Um, down here on the grip section, this is what really blew us away. So they're using a Win Dry Tack Ultra Weave material that is exclusive to Lou's. So this is an exclusive Lou's weave pattern. And when you look at it online, it kind of, I thought it was gonna be like a hard, you know, carbon fiber material. It's not like that at all. It's actually that super soft, tacky wind material and super, super grippy. So not only does it look cool, uh, you know, it gives you that, that cool, you know, carbon fiber look to it, but it's insanely grippy. So when you use it in wet conditions, um, if your hands are sweaty, anything like that, you're gonna get great grip on there. You got the nice keeper down here at the bottom of the rod, kind of keeps the top of the blank really clean. And then down on the reel seat, they've got that uh, whole bunch of exposed uh, blank on the back of it. So the way they design that reel seat, you get ton of blank exposure. So you can lay multiple fingers on there and you're just gonna get great vibration transmission down to your hand and be able to detect those really, really light biting fish or just you know feeling little differences in the bottom composition, anything like that. This rod is gonna be ultra, ultra sensitive. Up on the guides, they have Fuji SIC guides on there. So one of the lightest, most sensitive guide train out there on the market, just overall a very high quality built rod by Luz. Um, if you're looking for something that you need, uh, you know, extra sensitivity, you need to be able to feel that jig super, super deep, um, any kind of finesse techniques, uh, check out the Luz Elite series of rods. The next one is this from Mock. This is actually one, uh, another one of Luz's brands. The Mach Smash Series. So this is built on IMX6 blank, which has been in Luz's lineup for a long, long time. Really, uh, really proven blank design. Uh, really strong, really sensitive. Um, this rod is actually down at 59 bucks versus the Elite Series comes in at uh, 349. So if you're looking at something more on the price point line, check out the Mach Smash Series. These rods are really cool. Um, they don't have as many models as the, uh, as the Elite Series. I believe the Elites have about 13 models in the lineup. And on the mock smash, I believe you're getting about six or seven different models between casting and spinning. Um, these rods still ultra tough, ultra strong. I mean, sensitive, durable. You can uh, you can fish these things in fresh water and salt water. Uh, speaking of salt water, up on the guides, they have stainless steel guide frames with stainless steel inserts. So you can fish them in those in those salt water conditions, and you don't have to worry about you know corroding. You know you have the the materials on there to help uh, to help rust corrosion and stuff like that. And down on the grips on these ones, they have more of that traditional wind grip, which is still an amazing grip material. I mean, that thing uh, is super tacky. You can hang on to it and no matter what kind of conditions you're fishing in. Uh, and got the keeper down here below the reel seat as well, which I like a lot. Every once in a while, you have those keepers up here. When you make a cast, it gets tangled up and stuff. Like having the keeper down there on the bottom of the rod. Overall, really cool rod. If you're looking for something for a little bit, uh, a little bit cheaper, 59 bucks. Lou's has got you covered with this new Mach Smash series. All right, let's go over some new baits. We've got a bunch of really cool baits today. So the first one here, one of my favorites, uh, you know, I'm sure most of you, most of you recognize it out there. This is the new Rapala Countdown Elite. So um, just an upgraded model of the original Countdown Minnow. Uh, so the, the Rapala Countdown has been a staple in bass fishing for, or just fishing in general for I don't know how many years. Um, if you fished any length of time, I'm sure every angler has got one of these in their tackle box somewhere or has had one in their tackle box at some point in time. I'm super stoked to pick one of these up and uh, throw a few in the trout box and then throw a couple little shad patterns here for when they're chasing the really small bait fish. Uh, what's different about this countdown than the original countdown 
is they made a few upgrades to it. So internally, there's a full one piece uh, wire through harness on the inside. So if you fish up north and you hook into some of those toothy fish or you fish somewhere where you can hook into like a big striper or something like that, uh, that full wire through system on the inside is gonna ensure if the fish tries to break the lure, you're not gonna lose it. So it'll still be connected by that full wire through system on the inside. Uh, also on the inside, another thing you can't see is they have a tungsten polymer weighting system in there. So it's a little bit heavier, so you can get better casting distance and better accuracy than the original countdown as well. Hardware, HD split rings, and they've got VMC 2X hybrid trebles on there. So everything's upgraded on this new countdown elite which is really, really cool. This is one of probably the most fish catching baits of all time. And now they've got an upgraded model to it and all the paint jobs as well. HD paint jobs with a gilded metallic uh, face on there. So it just gives you that extra little bit of flash and extra realism. Next one we got from Rapala. This is, uh, this is a new crankbait designed by Ottofo that's joining the, the, the OG series of crankbaits. So the first two, uh, the first two OG crankbaits they were designed by Ottofo were the, the, the slim bait. It's got that, you know, that flat sided body and that rounded bill, really tight vibration, really excels in cold water. Now with this new, uh, this is the new Rocco 5. Now you're getting a wider body crankbait, more rounded and a square bill. So that wider body, you know, that it's got more balsa in it. So it's a lot more buoyant and you got that square bill that deflects off cover really, really well. So now you're getting a bait that you can throw right in the middle of wood, lay down into rocks, brush, all kinds of stuff like that, and it's gonna deflect really, really well. So just expanding that line of already successful crankbaits designed by Ottofo. He spends so much time in the garage tinkering and, and you know carving baits and stuff like that, and this is gonna be something to add to the lineup just to, uh, just to expand his line of crankbaits uh, a little bit more. Got those same a a VMC hybrid trebles on them, so really, really good trebles. Bunch of awesome paint jobs, and they've added a few new colors to this lineup as well. All right. From Strike King, we got a couple new baits as well. So, um, you know, switching over from a rounded body back to flat sides. So this is the Chick Magnet Junior. So uh, this crankbait was actually designed by Andy Morgan, another phenomenal bass fisherman. He's been around for so long. He's won so many tournaments. And that Chick Magnet crankbait is a awesome crankbait. So you're getting that flat sided balsa style action but these baits are a lot more durable. They're weighted a little bit better. They're a lot easier to cast than those old school balsa baits. Got that circuit board rounded lip on there. It's a really tight vibration. This junior size is gonna get you down in that one to three foot zone. So the original chick magnet got you a little bit deeper. So if you needed a bait that just ran a touch shallower, this is gonna be the one for you. And then also if you're fishing situations where you need a little bit smaller profile, sometimes the bass are keyed in on really, really small shad, and that's gonna that's gonna help match those really small bait fish really, really well. So really cool um, addition to that chick magnet lineup as well. Another addition from Striking, we got the new Thunder Cricket Gold Blade. So this has been a request by uh, a bunch of the Striking pros is to now add a gold blade into that Thunder Cricket lineup. The Thunder Cricket is a premier vibrating jig and it's responsible for tons of tournament wins. If you've watched any of the live coverage from any of the pro circuits, uh, you see this bait all the time by the striking pros. They catch a ton of fish on it. And now just giving you another option. Most of the blades out there on the market, most vibrating jigs are gonna be black or silver, or maybe you know some of them on like the fire cars are gonna be that painted blade, but now you have a gold option. So now just expanding that lineup. So certain situations, certain water colors, dirtier water, uh, you know, that gold blade works really good. Or if you're fishing somewhere with like a lot of golden shiners, that gold blade helps mimic that forward. So if you're looking for something with a gold blade, now Strike King's got the gold blade on, the, on their Thunder Cricket. Couple of spinner baits. So, you know, spinner bait season's gonna be right around the corner. Once that pre-spawn hits, uh, the spinner bait is gonna be uh, a key player. So from, from Freedom Lures, we got a couple different options here. So this is the new Speed Freak series, and this is the LM and this is the SM. So this is kind of your full frame size and then this is your more, more compact size. They're actually both half ounce baits and you can see the difference in profile. Uh, the LM has got a five aught hook on it and the SM has got a four aught hook on it, but really nice spinnerbait design. Uh, checking it out, it does have this aggressively keeled head. So since it's saying the Speed Freak, it's made to fish really, really fast. So because it's keeled so heavily on the bottom, you can burn this thing and it doesn't ever turn over or roll on its side. It maintains that straight 
uh, that straight running presentation the whole time. All right, taking a look at the blade combination on this bait, really unique, something that I haven't seen on any other spinner bait out there. You're getting a willow kilter blade blade combo on there. So you got the, the small willow up here and then you have this kilter blade that's, it's got a unique shape and it's slightly offset a little bit. Everything's attached by premium hardware, you know, premium clevis, ball bearing, swivel. But with this willow kilter blade, what you're gonna get with this is you're gonna get a lot of flash like you would with a double willow, but this, kil this kilter blade is gonna produce a lot of vibration. So it's gonna thump pretty hard. You're gonna get similar vibration as you would with like a Colorado or Indiana, but it has way less drag than a Colorado or Indiana. So not only are you gonna get that flash and vibration, but you're gonna be able to maintain the speed and keep this thing running really fast and get that vibration, but not get slowed down by the drag of like a big Colorado or a big Indiana blade. So something unique, uh, totally different out there. Um, I'm excited to try this thing out. It's got a nice keeper on there. If you wanna add a soft plastic, I tend to usually add a soft plastic to mine, but just a really killer uh, spinner bait there by Freedom Lures. All right, we got a whole new lineup of weights from Gamagatsu. Me, me and some of the guys in the office, we've been waiting for these weights for I believe two seasons. Uh, this is the new Gamagatsu G Shield tungsten weights and they got a full lineup of different shapes and stuff. So they got a little worm weight right there. Uh, we got a flipping weight. It's kind of got a unique kind of bullet shape to it. And then we got the big dog right here. We got their punch weight. It's got a really unique uh, kind of mushroomed out shape to it. And there's a reason why they did that. I'll explain here in a second. Uh, with these weights, really cool features. They got that matte kind of uh, gray finish to them on the outside, which doesn't chip. It's a permanent finish on the outside. Uh, so you don't have to worry about this chipping or throwing it into rocks or anything like that and, and tearing it up it's always gonna maintain that look on the outside. Uh, another thing on the outside, stamped weights on the outside, or you know, stamped sizing. So you're never gonna lose what size weight you got. And the G-Shield technology, they've actually got a composite insert that not only protects your line, so it's got the insert all the way through to protect your line with the weight sliding up and down, but on the bottom, it's flared out and you have kind of a, kind of an inset cup in there, so your knot and your hook and everything can sit up inside the weight, so you get a more flush presentation, and then it protects your knot and everything um, from damage from hook sets, so your tungsten is not gonna tear your line up. Really, really cool feature that they put on all these weights. Another thing they also got is that they got a new, uh, you know, swing and wobble head. That, it's got all the same features, you know, that, that matte gray finish, the sizing stamped on it but it has that wire system so you can attach any style hook you want on there, which I think is a huge feature with your kind of wobble style jig heads. Um, I mean, I fish those things a lot and I hate being limited to, you know, buying a pack and only being limited to the size hook that's on there. I like to fish a bunch of different style baits on wobble heads. I'll fish, you know, little small worms up to, you know, big swim baits, big, you know, creature baits, all kinds of stuff like that. And being able to change the size of hook that you put on there, especially if you fish places with, uh, you know, really deep lakes, so you can, you know, switch size of baits and you have the option, you know, if you want to fish a really light bait, you know, up shallow, you know, down deep, sometimes the ones that come fixed uh, the, with the fixed sizing, your quarter ounce only has this size weight and if you need a big hook, you have to get a three quarter ounce, but you might, you might not want that size of weight for fishing a depth range. This is definitely the way to go for, if you're looking for a new uh, wobble head system out there. So check those out from Gamagatsu. All right, let's talk about some umbrella rigs. We got some new umbrella rigs from Shane's Baits. These are really cool umbrella rigs. I believe we got 10 or 12 different models uh, throughout the whole lineup. This one right here is the Dominator. Five wire, eight blade, you know, four short wires, one long, one down the middle. Uh, really cool designs. I believe we have, I mean, we had everything from down to little small finesse style rigs, bladed, non-bladed. We got big double stack rigs if you want that really big profile. A premium hardware on everything. Uh, these are HD rigs, and what's really cool about them, up here on the head, if you notice, um, we have a CNC aluminum head design. And what's really cool about their rigs is you can actually untwist this, and you can uh, remove and replace the wires that are on here. So we have the replacement wires that come in little tubes like this. So if you need to replace a wire, you can buy some, and then, uh, you know, just insert them into the, into the rig, whatever one's damaged. Say you catch something, a really big fish, you break a wire off or you catch a bunch of fish and it's just getting worn out and you need to replace a wire, you can just buy the replacement wires and you don't have to buy an entirely new rig. So saving you a little bit more money down the road, really cool design. You know, got a nice swivel up here on the front to prevent line twist. But like I said, they got every kind of rig you would need, you know, from, you know, full size double stack rigs all the way down to small finesse rigs. So they got you covered. 
and they got the replacement arms for all of them as well. So really cool design by Shane's Bates. That umbrella rig bite coming up here around February, most parts of the country starts to get really, really good. So you wanna have some new umbrella rigs ready to rock for that bite. All right, from Pro Knot Fishermen's, we got these really cool little cards. I'm sure if you've been around for a while, you've probably seen these and just something we brought in that we think would be good to, for people that are beginner anglers. Maybe you've been, ang you've been fishing for a long time and there's just certain knots you don't use all the time. Um, these little cards, uh, these knot cards, actually have all the directions for some of the most popular knots that you would use for bass fishing. So like uni knots, polymer knots, improved clinch knots, snail knots, uh, dropper loops, all kinds of different stuff. So we have these cards, I believe this one's got 12 knots on it, and then we got the ultimate knot guide. It's got 10 different knots on it, but it also has a ruler on it as well. So uh, if you need a little ruler to you know, measure legal size of certain species of fish, this one's got you covered as well. Uh, really cool design, just something you can throw in your tackle bag, throw in your boat. They're plastic cards, so they're never gonna you know, get worn out or doesn't matter if they get wet, they're not gonna fall apart. They got rust, uh, rust proof brass grommets on there, so it'll last you a lifetime. Just something cool, cool gift, maybe for next holiday season, nice little stocking stuffer item you can throw in, in someone's bag. All right, we're gonna talk about some apparel here. So from Sims, we got a whole bunch of stuff gonna be great for this time of the year. Uh, first one, the new Vermilion hoodie. So I'm actually wearing the, uh, the, the black color and then we have it in a blue navy color as well. This is probably one of the most comfortable, softest hoodies I've ever had. Um, it's got a brushed fleece on the inside. It's ultra, ultra soft. It's a cotton poly blend. It's got a lot of stretch to it. So just a great little hoodie for you know, wearing out on town. You, know, you can wear it on the lake as an insulation piece, maybe underneath your shell or something like that. Phenomenal hoodie here by Sims. Can't, uh, can't say enough good things about it. All right, and we got a couple more pieces for really fishing in this cold weather. So if you're trying to fish out there in that negative 65 degree weather, you're gonna need this whole kit. Uh, so first up, we got the Extreme Hooded Jacket. So this has been one of Sims' insulation pieces that has been in their lineup for a long, long time. Um, and this is just their newest, most upgraded model. So this comes with 200 grams of Primaloft installation in it. So Primaloft is a synthetic down material. So even if it gets a little bit wet, it's gonna maintain its warmth, unlike down. If down gets wet, it kind of collapses and you lose, that, uh, you lose that warmth out of it. So on the inside, you got that nice kind of soft material. This thing is super, super warm. In the summertime when our rep was here and yeah, showing us this stuff before I cast and you tried it on, you put this thing on for a minute or two indoors and you're sweating. So you definitely need this when you're outside in those super, super cold temps um, just to help keep you insulated and keep you warm. But it's not overly bulky. So it does keep you incredibly warm, but it's not a super thick puffy jacket like some of the other ones out there on the market. Got hand warmer pockets on the side and a nice hood that's fully insulated just to help keep you warm in those cold temps. Another insulated piece they got here is their new Guide Series. Uh, we got the jacket and the bib. Guide insulated jacket and bib. So if you're familiar with the Pro Dry, so the Pro Dry is a Gore-Tex shell, uh, you know, jacket and bib system, which has pretty much been the gold standard for rain gear in the fishing industry for a long time. So this has taken that same uh, Gore-Tex Pro Shell, like just sim same thing as a Pro Dry, but now you're adding insulation to it. So now you're getting all that same waterproof performance, but you're getting added warmth as well. So if you fish up north somewhere, you do a lot of ice fishing, this is gonna be a suit you wanna check out. So uh, Gore-Tex all the way around, so fully waterproof, but on the inside, you're gonna get 80 grams of Prima Loft insulation on the chest and I believe 60 grams in the, the sleeve and the hood. So keep you really warm and keep you dry as well. Phenomenal suit, reinforced on the back here on, in the seat area just cause when you're sitting down, that area you know get torn up but they reinforced it so just give you a lot longer life out of this jacket. Um, another really cool feature that I like about this jacket is it's got pit zips. So right here underneath the armpit, it opens up. So if you're maybe hiking around or it's, it's warming up a little bit, you can open that up and dump some of that heat out there. Um, similar to like a skiing snowboarding jacket, you can get that, you can get, you know, let some of that heat out if you're getting too hot, which is an awesome feature. I wish more jackets came with that. Uh, YK, YKK uh, AquaGuard zipper uh, up the front. And then on the sides here on the chest pockets, they actually have a true zip toothless zipper which is fully waterproof, fully watertight, so you don't have to worry. You can put your phone 
and you're st you can put your phone down in there and you're not gonna have to worry about water getting in there as well. Got a little chamois in there for your glasses to wipe off some of that rain and condensation. But uh, they, like I said, we got the bibs to match. So if you're looking for a new waterproof suit that has some insulation for it, uh, th that's gonna be one you wanna check out. The last one here, we got their new Challenger mid-deck shoe. So this is a fully waterproof boot, um, you know, for, for wearing on your boat but it's also breathable. So, I mean, when it's raining outside, we all tend to grab the, you know, the rubber boots, which don't really breathe that well. This is kind of giving you the best of both worlds. Really, really cool shoe, um, super comfortable. You're just getting, you know, that more comfort fit of a real shoe versus a straight rubber flat bottom boot. Um, on the bottom, they do have a, a non-marking sole with laser siping on it. So you're gonna get really good traction, but you don't have to worry about, you know, marking up the, you know, the, the hole of your boat or anything like that, jumping on or you know, jumping on the deck of any kind of like a, like a sport boat or something like that. So uh, fully waterproof and breathable, gonna be great for fishing out in those rainy, wet conditions. That's gonna wrap up today's episode of What's New with Tackle Warehouse. For more information or to purchase any of these stuff seen here today, click shop or the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this week's video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, let us know in the comments which one of these products you're most pumped about.